Hey guys, Shannon Hearn here. So I'm here today to talk to you about kick-ins. Look at that kick out. That is a low spear into the middle of the centre square. One of the basic fundamentals about kicking in is to realise if it's a man on man or a zone. If it's man on man, so the opposition are trying to run with your players, ideally you'd like to get into a huddle in the middle of the ground. That way you've got a lot of space um, out, out to the wings, out to the 50s, you've got a lot of space short, so I've just got a lot of space out the back. Sometimes with that, you try to get your quickest player. So in our instance, sometimes Bo Waters is pretty quick, um, Andrew Gaff, Matt Rosa, Jacob Brennan. So we try to um, use their speed and, get, and have, put a block on for them and get them out and running. The other aspect of kicking in is if the opposition decides to go to a zone, to a full 18-man zone. So this, this time we, get, we can have a lot of options. We have our outriders in the pockets, we can have long and wide to our ruckman in Big Nick or Coxie. Um, they take a very good contested mark, so that's the get out of jail kick for us. And also if you want to open the game up, um, up the middle is pretty good. So sometimes you'll kick wide a few times and the, the zone gets dragged across a little bit and sometimes that'll open up the space up the middle. So. And sometimes if you can hit that one up the middle, you see the wheels go full or eye, that can really open the game up. One of the other things that you can also do, I suppose, is uh, play on kick long, or if you're feeling really confident, you can kick a barrel. Um, a bit, bit unpredictable, but you can get a lot of distance, especially at something like MCG, uh, you can really get into the centre circle, you hit them well. well. That's a massive kick from full back. Yeah. It's also very important when you're kicking in, to give yourself a bit of distance. You don't want to get too close to the line. A couple of times, um, off, overstep the line, as is Will Schofield, but it's really important that you give yourself a bit of space. Also, if you want to play on, you need, need to um, recognise where the bloke is on the mark. If he's really close, you have to stand right back towards the goals and be able to play on and run straight to the pocket and get a bit of distance. Sometimes you can get a block on, which helps you to get an extra five metres and get it longer and wider. Ferrazzo standing on the mark there. He's definitely going to try and quell that influence of Hearn. When he's kicking the football, the Eagles are playing well. They'll try and stop that. All right, guys. Well, there's my tips for today about kicking in. Hopefully you can take these tips away for your local club or your local footy. You might be out here at Subiaco taking my job kicking in.